Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of Water, the Elixir of Life by Sir C. V. Raman. Chandra Shegara Venkata Raman made revolutionary discoveries in the field of light scattering. His phenomenon came to be known as the Raman scattering or Raman effector. He received his Nobel Prize in the year 1930 and was the first Asian to receive the prize in the field of science. He received the knighthood that year which enabled him to add Sir in front of his name. He was awarded the Bharat Ratna Award in 1954. Sir C. V. Raman has emphasized on the importance of the world's most common liquid. Man has been searching for an imaginary elixir of life for ages. But the true medicine is very near to our hands. It is the simple water. He recollected his experience when he had been to the Libyan desert. He draws example of the Nile Valley civilization to show how one side is the most fertile land on the earth while the other is a sea of billowing sand without a speck of green. Nile liver is the life-giving waters that has been created and sustained the whole country of Egypt. Water adds beauty to the countryside be it a small stream or the rain-fed tanks that are a common sight in South India. These tanks store the silt-laden water full of nutrients and minerals which are precious to the crops. But they are often neglected and not properly maintained. Swiftly flowing water carries fairly large and heavy particles while the finer particles which are more in number are carried to great distances. The flow of water plays a great beneficial role in the geological process of converting rocks into soil. India, an agriculture-based country, depends on the seasonal rainfall and snowfall as it is the only source other than the artisan water. Conservation of rainwater becomes a huge responsibility when soil erosion is not checked. Soil erosion, though may not be evident at first, it is painfully apparent at the later stages when deep gullies and ravines are formed, rendering agricultural impossible. It calls for urgent prevention, preventive action like terracing of land, construction of buns, counter civilization and planting appropriate types of vegetation are some of the measures suggested by him. These measures serve a double purpose of preventing soil erosion and keeping the water on and in the soil. He also brings in other benefits of water like using boats for a cheaper transport system and hydroelectric power which can uplift rural areas of India. Water is both the most common and uncommon liquid. The investigation about the nature and properties of water will always be of the highest scientific interest. This is what Sir Sevi Raman says. If you have anything more to add on to what I have said, please write it in the comment box. Like the video, share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe and support. Thank you.